Hi, my name is Cam Smith with U Sports Production, coming to you from Hollywood Park in Victoria, BC. Thank you for tuning in. We're at the Sam Shaw Hollywood Hitters Tournament, and this is the final day where Dunbar has reached the final. They've been playing really good all tournament long, and Beacon Hill Smash, well, just as equal. Last time these two met, it was a 4-4 draw, and a lot of drama in that game. It came right down to the last at bat by Dunbar, but this should be a really, really good game for a final to see who's going to win 2024 Sam Shaw Hollywood Hitters Tournament. Well, let's get this party started. Beacon Hill Smash against Dunbar. Play ball. And Jackson getting a nod for Beacon Hill. And up to bat, first leadoff hitter, that is Kelpakaya. And he's going to rip this ball right up the middle. And he's going to lead things off with a single. Get this Dunbar squad going early. And Jordan having a fine tournament. He's up next for this Dunbar squad. That's Jackson with the delivery. Two strikes on him. Yeah, that's some high cheese. And that is a big strikeout right there for Jackson. And with a runner on first, Kim up next for Dunbar. And he's going to rip this ball. That's right over to Hanson. Hanson picks it up. Oh, a little bobble. And he can't get over to first in time. There's runners at first and second. But that gets away from the first baseman. That goes all the way. They're second and third now for this Dunbar team. And they're threatening early on. And that brings up right. He's a dangerous hitter. And with second and third, ducks on the pond, the delivery, and he is going to hit this ball. That goes right out to center field and Goff. Just a little miss out there, and one run's going to come in. Second run coming in to score, and the throw, not in time. Two runs will score, and with some heads up base running, right will head over to third. And that's 2 nothing now for Dunbar early on. And Fordyce up to bat, runner at third. And Jackson's got two strikes on him with the delivery. He blows one by him for the strikeout. And then Brumwell up the bat. Runner at third, two outs. And Jackson looking to get one more out. And Jackson with the delivery. And there's Brumwell. He gets down on this one. He just extends and he is out to left field. And that will score the run. Three runs in the inning. That will do it. Three nothing Dunbar. Him on the mound for Dunbar today, and he would walk Paddock, the leadoff hitter for this Beacon Hill squad. And up next is Hanson for Beacon Hill. He's having a great tournament and delivery by Kim Hanson. Will absolutely rip this ball, and that's just out of reach of the left fielder. And Paddock's going to come into second with a long single. It's going to be Hanson, and then Kim would walk Jackson. And with the bases loaded, no outs, Kim, two strikes on Goff, and he throw a nasty pitch for the third strike. And with one out, Troush at bat, and Kim with the delivery, and Troush would absolutely rip this ball, but Kircher with an amazing catch. Catching that line yard, just about doubling up the runner at third. That's a beauty. And next up for Beacon Hill is Stan Vincent. And the bases are loaded, two outs. And he's going to rip this ball right down third base line. And that's going to get on the outfield. That'll score a run for Beacon Hill. And with the bases still loaded and two outs. And then Cramp would walk, scoring another run for Beacon Hill. And that's going to prompt a pitching change. And that's Young now in relief for this Dunbar squad. And the base is loaded and two out. And Flynn at bat, and Flynn would rip this ball. And this one might drop in. It's a tough one. And just out of reach of the fielder. And another run will score. That's three, and that will retire the side. Scores three to three, heading to the top of the second. And leading things off in the top half of the second inning. That's Kalpakai. And that's Jackson still on the mound. And Kalpakai looking to get things started here for Dunbar. And Jackson with a delivery. And Kalpakai is going to rip this ball. And that goes right out to center. And that's for a long single. And then Jackson that's coming up to the plate for Dunbar. He's got a runner at first. And Jackson out of the stretch. And Jackson with the delivery. And Young with it to Sharpley. That's a one hopper right over to Hanson. Over to second. And over to first. Not in time. But they get the runner at second. The lead runner. And that'll bring up Raylo in this tie ball game. Runner at first. And Raylo is going to hit this ball nicely. And Young rounding second. And oh, on the overflow, Young is going to go all the way to third. Raylo will be safe at uh, second. We got second and third, one out. And that's Roche up the bat with runners in scoring position. And Jackson with the delivery. And Roche is going to hit this. It's going to go right over to Charles. Charles picks it up and tries to beat the runner out. But no, Roche is safe and a runner will score. And with a runner at second, 
They had only one out. And that's Jackson out of the stretch. And Jackson with the delivery. And Liberty would hit this ball. That's going to go right over to Trous. What a great catch. And over to second. She would go and get the runner. That would double things up. And that will end the inning right there. And that is a big league play right there by Trous. And we move to the top of the forest. And one out. Stan fits it in the pitch. And that is right at bat. And Wright is going to just drive one right up the middle. And that's a great way to lead things off for this Dunbar squad. And then Wright would put himself in scoring position with stealing second. And Fort East at the plate for Dunbar and Sam Vincent, the runner at second. Here's the pitch and that's a nice hit. Sam Vincent picks it up and runner goes to third and runner is at first. So we got runners at the corner with nobody out. And then Fort East uncontested soul and base. Runners at second and third. And Bromwell at the plate, runners at second and third. And here's a pitch. There it is, and that is Rip right over to Charles. Trouch is going to go home, and that's going to get by the catcher. I'll tell you what, there's two runs going to score on this play. That's going to put two more on the board, and that's going to make it six to three. Runner goes to third. And then Cal Packier steps up to the plate for Dunbar. Runner at third, and Sam Vincent just trying to get out of this inning. And out of the stretch he goes, and he will deliver. And this ball is just ripped right there by Kalpaki. That goes deep out to left field. And Kalpaki is going to knock in a run. And he slides into second. Oh, and there's a close one. It just doesn't matter. The three runs are in. But this inning is over. Three runs in for seven to three. And the top of the fifth. And Young on a drop third strike. He would move to first. And then he'd get over to second. We have a pass ball. And then Relo at the plate. And that is Stan Vincent with the delivery. In. And Relo, he hits it. Oh, it finds its way through the infield. And a nice throw by Goff, but it's not going to make it. Runner will go to second. And he would make his way over to third on a pass ball. And then next up for Dunbar is Roach. He's got runners in second and third. And Stan Vincent out of the stretch and he will deliver and Roche is gonna pop this one up but that's going to no man's line but kind of nowhere is Hovland but the runner's taken up and there's the throw to the plate and not in time runner will score runner rests to third and with one out runner in scoring position that is Olivia up to bat eight to three and she will hit the ball and it just gets in and that's gonna score another run she's safe at first nine to three Dunbar opening things up in the top half of the fifth inning and then Mahone up to bat, and he's got a runner at first. And Sam Vincent with the pitch, and Mahone would get a hold of this just out of Sam Vincent's his reach. And oh, that is a tough one right there. Runners at first and second, both are safe. And then with Kirker at the plate, double steal will put runners at second and third. And with Stan Vincent with the pitch, oh, this is just driven by Kirker, and that is going back, back. Oh, and a little backflip there. And a runner comes in to score. That's going to make it 10 to 3, and that'll be it for Dunbar. They max out in the top of the fifth inning. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth. Last at bats here for Beacon Hill. And coming in to close things out is four days for Dunbar. Bottom of the fifth. Jackson leading off for Beacon Hill. This is a scrappy hitter. And he steps up to the plate in four days with the delivery in Hanson. He's going to drive this ball. That's going to go out to left field. Oh, what a catch right there by Raylo for the first out. And then Goff up next. And he's going to take this pitch. And he is going to pop it up. And it's going to find its own way in. And there you go. That's a single right there, we'll call it. That's a gallon effort by Wright. And then with one out. Runner at first, that is Troush, and Troush is gonna drive this ball, and that goes right over to Jordan. Jordan over to first. Oh, and a tough play at first. Runners are safe on the corners. And with the runners on the corner, Stan Vincent steps up to play four days with the delivery, and that's a swing and a miss, but Troush with the delayed steal, safe at second, and then coming home, Goff will score, and over to third goes Troush. And then Stan Vincent with a one and two count. He's gonna take this pitch. Oh, right over to pitcher's head. It goes to second, over to Jordan. Over to first for the up, but another run will score. Make it a 10 to five. And up to bat, never say quit. That's Cramp. And 10 to five, bottom of the fifth. Two outs and Cramp will just drive this ball. It's going out to right field, but Roche just camps under it. And that's it. 
That's Dunbar will win the Sam Shaw Tournament this year, 2024. What a game by both these teams, you know. Beacon Hill was in it all the way, and Dunbar just played really good, putting up 10 on the board. That's a lot. 10 to 5 was your final. Another great tournament hosted by Beacon Hill. Let's get out in the community. Let's support events like this. My name is Cam Swift with U Sports Production. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you on the field.